Hey guys, this is Torna, and today we've got the Battle Pass going live within Tacticus, finally, like, actually live this time. Um, a couple things before we get started. First of all, as you can see here, we interviewed a developer. Uh, we interviewed Arvid over on my channel. So if you are interested in that and learning some cool stuff about like the uh, the potential guild wars or playable tyranids or lots of cool stuff, head on over to that and check it out. Uh, we had asked a lot of questions, especially from you guys. Um, I'd love to do it again, so I might reach out to Rada to organize one in a couple months' time again to kind of cover what's going on and everything. But yeah, if you're interested in that, um, and also if you are starting the game from this video, make sure you go in here and refer a friend and enter my code in there, and that will be support our channel, um, so that way we can do some cool orb openings and um, some cool uh, requisitions opening in the future. So, the battle pass in here. So... Uh, basically the way it works is similar to every single other battle pass. Now I've gone and bought a premium here, so I've unlocked the premium, uh, lane here, but there's a free lane as well. So as with every single other battle pass, um, you're going to have basically two different lines here. Uh, on the left-hand side is your premium stuff, so you need to actually spend money for that. Uh, the right-hand side is your free stuff. There is some very decent stuff in here. You get some requisitions and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to put pop up on the screen right now what you actually get from it. So overall, you're going to be getting like 90 Volk Shards, uh, a lot of Blackstone, 750 Blackstone from this. Uh, you've got some coins in there but coins aren't really re relevant some energy again it's not enough i think to kind of make a big influence some raid tickets three requisitions for the paid one there 100 salvage massive xp tomes a lot of xp tomes within here like eight full legendary ones which is great if you purchase it uh from the uh paid ones here you can clearly see like the the free ones kind of stop around the rare area a couple epics throughout it um but mostly just rare stuff uh while on the le uh, left hand side the paid you can get very much into like your legendaries um there's epic orbs and stuff like that rare orbs uh i think that to personally i do think that it is going to be worth the uh ten dollars here if we have a look just at like the blackstone value there um so it's 15 us dollar uh, sorry 15 australian dollars so that's around 1250 blackstone here um, whoops, I accidentally clicked on that. That just went straight into the purchase. Um, so that's around here. Um, so you're obviously not getting just uh, the Blackstone there. So I don't know. Um, it's 10 US, as I said. You've got 90 Volk shards hit there. That's not going to unlock Volk though, if you, unless you have some shards of him already. And um, the requisitions. So um, I'll talk about my thoughts on the full thing in just a bit, but before we get into that, I just wanted to say how you kind of earn it. So, um, as you can see here, you've got like a, a reward track progress. And as you kind of earn this, uh, battle pass progress here, you're going to get some reward tiers unlocked. Now to be able to unlock the reward track there, um, basically you're going to be doing these missions here. Uh, you've got some daily missions up here. So three different daily missions, it looks like at the moment. So you've got do five lightning victories, pretty easy. Uh, you've got use ability 75 times and play 15 arenas. That's the, the three different daily uh, objectives there and you can see here as, as I said, like they'll each reset at the normal kind of global reset. You've then got weekly quests in here. So there's three different weekly quests, one for killing 600 characters with uh, ranged attacks, defeating 450 enemies with Imperial, only Imperials available there, and then doing six salvage run battles. That one's pretty easy there. And as you can see, like there's a an easy, a medium, and then a hard one here with a hundred up to there. Then you've got the full season milestone. So these are basically like a series of milestones, 20 milestones, uh, and you can do them over the course of the, uh, the whole season so the first one here for the alpha is healing for 3000 health you've got here first one deal 10,000 damage to enemies that's going to be pretty simple i'm just going to go be able to do that in uh one um one like guild raid boss i guess and then defeat 50 tyranids so that's going to be onslaught obviously so these ones here are pretty easy but from what i've heard they get pretty annoying like there's some here that are like use a whole bunch of abilities with imperial characters uh from what this is saying this one here turns into use abilities of imperial characters 150 times 
that's pretty crazy. Uh, obviously, you've got the full season to be able to do that, so the full 35 days there. So that's going to be like it's going to take you quite a while uh, to be able to do that. But at least you've got a little bit of time to do it. So. Um, yeah, so overall, um, I'll talk about my thoughts on the two different aspects. So the first one here is these missions. I think the missions are a bit too grindy. Uh, defeat 600 enemies with ranged attacks in a week and 450 enemies with Imperials. That's pretty grindy. Um, I don't mind it, but to me, I don't think battle passes should be that difficult. I think it should be something that you're going to be able to clear easy. I have to see at the end of the week as to what my thoughts are um, on how I go on this and stuff. But like 600 enemies with ranged attacks is uh, that's going to be crazy. 450 enemies with Imperial. We'll see how that goes. Um, these full battle pass ones here, um, very interesting take. I, I like these kind of seasonal battle pass missions, um, as long as they're not too grindy, but from what I've seen, they're going to be pretty grindy too. And then the daily ones aren't awful. Like, I don't think these are awful. Like, 15 arena battles, you should be doing that every day anyway. Using abilities, then that's going to go directly into doing your arena battles anyway. And then the five lightning victories, that's pretty simple to do. So, the, the daily ones, I think, are pretty easy. Uh, the weekly ones, kind of TBH, um, uh, TBD. And then these ones here, we'll see as to how that goes. The actual rewards as well, I want to talk about that. First up, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that you don't get Volk completely unlocked. Um... Like, the fact you only get 90 shards of Volk, I think, is a little bit disappointing. I would have liked to see a full unlock for the character. Um, a full unlock for the character, I think, kind of fits that. Uh, and also, like, maybe, like, up here, have the image of what the character is. Like, a Volk up here would be really cool. Um, so, that way you know that this this is, like, kind of focused on Volk. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think that there's... A little bit too much for the paid section as compared to the free section. Uh, I would have liked to have seen, like... Uh, I, I also would like seeing more requisitions, I think. I think that's a huge thing here. Requisitions. Uh, like, the paid section, I think, should have a full 10, 10 lot of requisitions. And, like, three, maybe, on the, the free one. I don't know. That's, what, that's my personal thoughts. Maybe... Um, Maybe other people think differently, but that's my personal thoughts. I think the XP tomes are well-balanced, and I like that. Um, the actual items, uh, maybe, like, one epic item in the free section, two in the rare or something would have been nice. Uh, overall, I think that it, it's not too bad. Like, it's it's pretty good value, like, really good value. Battle passes are always really good value, and I think it's worth buying it. Um, but we have to see as to how, how it goes grind-wise um, to exactly see how it works works and everything like that overall over the course of the full season everything like that um and see exactly how awful it is um but like so far it looks it looks pretty bad but that's because um some of these missions are pretty like this one here that's going to be crazy. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I'd love to hear from you guys what you think. I think the the it's the first battle pass that Snowprint's obviously done here. They ask for a lot of feedback, which is great, and they're they're amazing at asking people for feedback and stuff. So um, if you guys have feedback on this, leave it down below. I want to hear your feedback on what you think. Um, but that's it for today, guys. Uh, also, Volk is amazing. Like Volk is a great character. So even if you're purchasing this purely to be able to unlock Volk, I think. Think it's going to be worth it because he is a character that will carry you through um the the fall of cadia campaign so definitely worth it for that um and like the actual rewards from the paid section i think are really good so i don't know let me know down in the comments what you guys think that's it for today have a great day and goodbye